What's up? It's Big Head Ed. I'm exactly. I'm pretty happy today. Uh, I got one view on YouTube, and that's actually really astonishing. Not to say in a negative way. I'm actually really happy. I didn't expect to get any views, so one view is a start. And whoever that person is, whether it's family or friends, I really appreciate it. We are on the path upward. You start from zero. You have to end up somewhere. So one is good. Uh, yesterday NBA was very small. We only had two games yesterday, in which I only watched one and a half. Um, the Spurs game, I didn't watch the full Spurs game because it's the Spurs and they're up by 15 with two minutes left. And I said, if I miss the most miraculous comeback since, uh, Tracy McGrady did it to the Spurs, I'm going to be very heartbroken, but I don't see it. It's playoffs. You know how that is. Um, but yeah, I watched, the first game I watched was Atlanta-Boston and I was astonished i was really shocked i i don't know what i watched but that was crazy uh the celtics sat uh celtics not sat but the celtics played 10 players i read they played 10 players in sorry i need to really groom my hair but this is just me chilling out you know i'm relaxed i'm comfortable I'm happy in my own skin but it's this <laughs> i am completely conscious of this little piece of hair sticking up so i'm just trying to get it down not for you guys not for me. I don't know. It's just, I have OCD. It just looks really weird. But okay. Yeah, I watched the game. They they played 10 players, I read, and only scored 7 points. I watched the game. They only scored 7 points, and I was shocked. I was clapping because I knew it had to do something with history. I didn't know if it was whether Celtics history or NBA history. It wasn't NBA history. The, the least amount of points scored in the quarter is 5. 5 points. I'm definitely going to pay attention to that margin in game three <laughs> because the Celtics had no answers for this Hawks team offensively. This Hawks defense is incredible. I knew it was I knew it was something crazy that we were gonna see this game. I didn't know what sorry. I'm on my iPhone recording these videos. I didn't know what was cra I didn't know what we were gonna see that was crazy, but I seen something crazy like that and I was just shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was really shocked. Um Seven points is a franchise low for that team in any quarter. I knew since it's the Celtics, they definitely were going to hit some type of low point in history because the Celtics are actually, obviously a great franchise overall. So, yeah, that was shocking. Um, They did, however, score 21 points in the next quarter, but 28 points is not good. I looked up uh, statistics in the playoff half. The first half, the lowest score is 23, so they definitely saved themselves if they would have scored 18 points, they would have tied it. 17 points, they would have... I mean, not 18 points. If they had scored 16 points, they would have tied it. If they would have scored 15 points, they would have had the new record, which is very embarrassing. So, thank God they didn't get that. But it would have been cool. We always like to see history being broken, <laughs> especially in this day and age. Uh, but, yeah, the Celtics came out with no energy. They, they played very timid at best. I thought they should have picked up the pace... And they did. They picked up the pace in the second half. As opposed to scoring 28 points, they scored... Uh, I can't even do it in my head right now. 28. So they scored roughly about... 44 points. And that is terrible, but it's better than what it did first half. They lose the game 72-89. They're now down 2-0 to the Hawks, heading back into Boston. So the, see, the series can be evened up because they do have the home field. They do have home court. We'll see. I think this, the Hawks pull out of this 3-1 after their two road games. 3-1. I don't see them winning game three because at that point, the Celtics are completely against the wall. I see them losing game three, winning game four. Putting the Celtics at the wall into Game 5, back in Atlanta, where Atlanta can capture that Game 5. But we don't know. I had the Hawks in 6, but the Hawks went in 5. Still, I'm still relatively close to my prediction. I don't want to talk too much on San Antonio game. We already know the story of San Antonio. San Antonio is playing a team that is beaten up, hurt, playing with tons of heart, but no talent whatsoever. No talent. Lance Stevenson, this is your opportunity. I said this last yesterday i believe this is your opportunity to shine and he's not shining yet you need to shine drop 30 show nba teams that you're still relevant your pacer days are not that far behind you your cincinnati days are not that far behind you and your lincoln days are not that no lincoln is it lincoln uh not too sure about that i'll get back on those stats i'm pretty sure it is lincoln i'm pretty sure 
but I feel retarded. <laughs> right now, I'm kind of, excuse my language, I'm kind of slow in the, in the breaks today. But yeah, let's step it up, Lance Stevenson. You're from Brooklyn. I know you're from Brooklyn. That that much I do know. And I, I yes, you are from Lincoln. Now that I think about it, you're with a couple other dudes that we do know that no longer have any PT in the NBA. So don't be another one of those dudes. You play for Cincinnati. I know you, Lance Stevenson. I wanted you to come to the Knicks or the Brooklyn Nets. You didn't do it. You went to Charlotte. And now you're in Memphis. At least step it up. Drop thirty at least once. Let NBA. Let the NBA know you're still alive. Um, yeah, that, I didn't, I didn't watch too much of those games. Uh, tonight we have Cleveland and Detroit, and then we have Miami and Charlotte, and then we have Los Angeles Clippers and the Portland Trailblazers. Um, I don't got the home sweep today, sorry guys, I don't have the home sweep today. I got, I got the Pistons losing, because it's LeBron. In, in Cleveland, but then I got, I got the trail. I mean, I got the Hornets evening it up, and I got those. I got the Trailblazers evening it up. I don't know. I have. I don't. I don't want anybody to sleep on this Trailblazers team. I feel like Damian Lillard's gonna go off. He's not gonna score sixty five to or sixty four to beat MJ's record, but he is gonna drop buckets. I'm. I'm afraid to say fifty. But I'm going in the 40s direction, and I'm definitely gonna say C.J. McCon McCollum. Excuse my language. I have been disrespecting him. I don't even know him as a person. I have no stature to do so. My 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 disrespect is un unnecessary. My apologies, my brother. You are in the NBA. You have made it, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna drop 20 to 25. I hope I hope the Trailblazers do even the series up. I think the the Clippers need a bigger test. Because the Warriors are not getting tested whatsoever by this Rockets team. And if the Clippers are tested and battle ready for the next um, the next round, I'm pretty sure the Celtics, I mean, Clippers can challenge this Warriors team. Hopefully they can. I want them to. This is going to be amazing. Uh, I got the Pistons losing only because I feel like that collapse in the fourth quarter against the Cavs is going to diminish their hope in saying... Oh yeah, we could we almost beat LeBron, but almost isn't enough in the playoffs, my friend. And almost isn't enough, period. A W is a W, an L is an L. They need to excuse my annoying chair. They need to step it up this game. But I think this is the game where they get really close, like a 99-93 type of game. And then they say to themselves, We could beat this Cavs team. They're gonna go into Detroit. They're probably gonna take two or one. I say one, but they it's realistic that they could take two in Detroit and even the series. But I don't see them winning against LeBron and Cleveland right now. LeBron, and I don't know how this Kevin Love thing is going to go. Because they are going to take Drummond out of the paint. But Drummond's going to put so much pain on Love. You know, their size, they have a really big size difference. I don't think people re appreciate that too much. Um, Then we got Miami, Charlotte. I just think Charlotte, is, Charlotte isn't that team that gets beat by 30... Two. They're not that team. They they have a lot more respect for themselves. I think Kimball Walker didn't come out to play too much. I don't think Courtney Lee did too much to I think the their backcourt is gonna have to step it up big time. Excuse me. Um their backcourt is definitely gonna have to step it up. I see them winning by like four or five. This series is not gonna be too close. I have Miami in six, like I said. But I don't have Miami in four. No way. Uh this Hornets team is really good. Their, you know, ownership or GM ship, whatever you want to call it. Michael Jordan has some say in that. Michael Jordan does not pick scrubs off the street. He does pick up NBA players. He has Jeremy Lin on that team. Jeremy Lin is not a fluke. People still believe he is a fluke, but he does have shot shimmers and shines of what he used to do in New York and what he used to do with the Lakers. Because like, he did drop some 20-point games with the Lakers. And that was his biggest moment to shine. And the market did him dirty. We'll see. Um, Overall... I got Cavs, Trailblazers, Hornets. I think I'm gonna get upset. I think I hope I don't go 0-3, but I think I'm gonna go one and two or two and one. O three would be terrible. Right now my overall record is I'm trying to think. I was eight and three. I picked both home teams to win, so I'm ten and three. Ten and three. That's not bad. That's definitely seven games over five hundred. 
Let's go for 13 and 3, but I'm pretty sure I will be 12 and 4 tomorrow. I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, other news, there's beef with the Dallas and OKC. I'm going to make this video to 12 minutes. OKC Dallas beef is really corny. Charlie Villanova, or Villanova, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he's a bench warmer. I don't know why. No disrespect, bro, but you are a bench warmer. You do play 12 to 15 minutes. You haven't played more than that in the last five years. I don't know why you're disrespecting Russell Westbrook, but I understand there's pride involved, and he's a prideful player. He's a tough guy. He's a UConn player. I have respect for him, but come on, man. They're just kids. They're playing the dance, and who cares? It's like, I understand you want to dance on the, the club floor, but Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook will be dancing on the court, as a as what I mean is he's gonna be dropping buckets and crossing dudes up. I you just you just feel somebody that doesn't need that right now. Like he's gonna destroy Mavericks next game. You just gave him the re you gave him a reason to crush your team. And I don't feel like that was necessary. <laughs> but I do respect how he said, uh, Katie's a nice kid, I'm not gonna bother Katie. I respect that a lot because Katie is a nice kid. Katie's trying to try to bring this like shadiness to the to his character but he's not a shady dude katie's a nice guy he's been on all the commercials where he shows support for women cancer and all that stuff he's a great guy katie's awesome i love katie i have a lot of respect for him he's not this dark shadowy guy we have to see the media has betrayed him and in, in such a negative way they always dissing him and stuff katie just let it go just just turn off the tv shoot buckets in the gym they they in the gym shooting with you bro i have so much faith in you i know you're gonna beat this mavericks team there's no doubt about it you lost one game. You had one bad game. Just step it up. Show them what you got. Because I, I definitely have you in my top five. I'm going to post that video soon enough. My top five players, franchises, and teams. Teams and franchises are two different things. Uh, this is Big Head Ed calling out. I'm going to make that video. You'll see.